With everyone walking around with cameras in their pocket, the world has never been more exposed to the mysteries that exist all over. Canada, for instance, is a landscape rife with mysteries. Dude, I thought you were the Ogopogo. From being a hotspot of alien activity to their own equivalent of the Loch Ness Nessie, here are 15 mysterious things in Canada caught on tape. <laughs> Badlands Face, found in Alberta, Canada near Medicine Hat, you can find an amazing geological wonder that can only be seen from a bird's eye view. It's yet another testament that demonstrates a shift in perspective that can unlock a whole new world of wonder. No human hands took part in shaping this large mass of rock into a humanoid appearance and thus that's been deemed a stunning art piece from Mother Nature. The human-like profile was formed by the erosion of rainwater on layers of clay-rich soil over many years. Observed from the air, the rocks bear a strong resemblance to a human hand wearing a full First Nations headdress. Experts have begun to refer to the face as the Badlands Guardian. Thanks to a human road and structure that accidentally was built on the face, the Guardian now appears to be wearing a pair of wired earbuds like those old iPod commercials. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Could this image be one of the first signs of extraterrestrial life, or is it some strange-looking fungus growing in nature? It does appear to have tiny eyes and a mouth. If it is indeed an alien, what happened to him, and why was he abandoned here on Earth all alone? The person who dropped this photo on the internet did not leave much to go off, but you can use those big brains of yours and try to deduce it yourself. Familiar with the plant? Seen these types of aliens before? Share your experience in the comments by using the hashtag MissingTopic. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? <laughs> Meteor Hits Pillow It is times like these that humans should be reminded how fragile and precious life is. At any moment, anything could happen and snuff out the flame of life without warning, without consequence. That's just the way the world works in nature. Unconvinced, this woman came just inches away from death, all the while she slept peacefully in her bed. Many people observed the meteor that flew over the Canadian sky that night, but for one woman, she awoke with a hole in her wall and a rock on her pillow. This wasn't some mere pebble, but a scorched, jagged hunk of space debris that could have easily caved in a human skull. The crash made a loud explosion that left the woman crying and shaking for hours. There's no rhyme or reason for this crazy thing happening to her just the off chance that a piece of space rock might come hurtling toward the planet at any minute. Considering the size of the meteor, it was pretty large in size since it was mostly reduced in size during entry to the atmosphere. Most meteors end up as a tiny pebble, but this is a good-sized rock. <laughs> Oak Island Money Pit Legend tells that a small landmass just off the coast of Nova Scotia dubbed Oak Island is home to one of the most extraordinary treasure troves in human history. Unfathomable riches, significant historical artifacts, and more all alleged to reside in some hidden location on the island. For years, the mystery and chance it could be true has beckoned explorers from all over the globe to find it, but so far to no avail. Could you be the explorer to finally locate it? Those that have dug the deepest into the mystery have documented their search for the site via the television show The Curse of Oak Island. Most of the time, archaeologists know what they're searching for when they plan to unearth relics of the past, but in the case of this treasure pit, no one truly knows what the facts are. Its contents are a complete mystery, encouraging people to go to great lengths in attempt to learn the truth, but speculation has mostly filled the gaps in the meantime. Suffice to say, there are some wild theories out there, but until the truth is revealed, they're the best we've got. The most prominent theory states that the hoard came from one of a pirate's William Kidd's final raids on a Spanish galleon. <laughs> Ogopogo, nothing like a good legendary lake monster to drive tourism. There are such creatures around the globe that have long drawn such attention, and one of them goes by the name of Ogopogo and is said to lurk at the bottom of Canada's Okanagan Lake. You can't visit Kelowna and not hear about its mysterious lake creature. Ogopogo is to Kelowna what Nessie is to Loch Ness, a yet-to-be-identified cryptid that reputedly resides in the lake's depths and surfaces just often enough to keep the legend burning. Turns out there are a lot more mysterious
mysterious lake creatures like this than imagined, prompting the notion that perhaps these legendary creatures do exist. Are they the ancient guardian dragons of age old? Perhaps just a cash grab tourism marketing attempt by the countries? All in all, the legend had to start somewhere and there's always seeming to turn up some convincing evidence every once in a while. Perhaps these lakes are only gateways to another aquatic realm for which all these mythical creatures truly reside. They only pop their heads up from time to time to check on the happenings of the world and the humans that dominate it. <laughs> Trumpets from the sky. What the heck were the mysterious sounds that blared over a Canadian town? Experts still aren't sure, but they have some theories. Residents around the country took to the outdoors to listen in on what they described as trumpets blaring from the heavens. It didn't just blast once or twice, but eight or nine times. This is important because it seems more intentional when they're so numerous. Intentional meaning alien made at least, that's what some conspiracy theorists are saying. However, many others are saying it's just the working of some large machine or a nearby manufacturing plant. Residents aren't convinced because they said they'd expect to hear it all the time. After being questioned, some locals said it seemed to emanate from the skies like the reverberating blast of thunder or a volcanic eruption. You can feel its presence in your bones and some say your very soul. <laughs> Mars on Earth In northern Canada, there exists a remote island where the terrain is so rugged that it's used by scientists to help astronauts for missions to Mars. Pretty neat, right? Found in close proximity to Greenland, the otherworldly, uninhabited Devon Island is said to be the closest landscape on Earth to the red planet that we know. The land is notoriously cold, dusty, and nearly devoid of life. Landscape on the infamous island are nearly identical to those submitted back to Earth by the Perseverance rover in 2021. Much like the red planet, Devon features sizable craters and patterned ground, blanketed in ice that routinely thaws and then refreezes creating unique terrain each time. It's even home to a V-shaped canyon that's nearly identical to those spotted on Mars. Devon Island's V-shaped canyon is appropriately called Astronaut Canyon and is being used by space agencies around the globe to prepare them for the upcoming trip to the Martian surface. Pinguyuit Crater This nearly perfectly circular lake found in the Ungava Peninsula of Quebec, Canada was formed by a meteor crashing into the planet almost 1.4 million years ago. Today it's encircled by a very lunar landscape and has been filled with crystal clear water that's often covered with ice to keep it fresh throughout the year. The lake is formed by its lack of inlets or outlets. Rain alone is its only source of water and loss of water can only be the result of evaporation or overspilling. The salinity levels is less than 3 ppm, which is extremely low, even when comparing other freshwater lakes like the Great Lakes, which come in at 500 ppm. It's considered one of the clearest in the world. A special tool called a Secchi disk, which measures the transparency of water, reaches a whopping 114 feet before it disappears at 1,300 total feet deep. This lake also hails as one of the deepest lakes in North America. Their circumference rises at an impressive 520 feet above the surrounding landscape and marks the highest point of the area. The prominence was a result of an explosive impact of a meteorite that once fractured the surrounding area and increased volume of land in some places. It's assumed that the rims of the lake were higher before the ice ages, which carried away any sediments of the meteorite over thousands of years. Although it's considered a young crater by geological standards, it's assumed to have existed through two ice ages. <laughs> the Tides That Turn The Skookumchuck Narrows are a fascinating work of Mother Nature where the tides twist and turn and create incredible whirlpools and waves that appear otherworldly. You can find the Narrows at the entrance of the Sekla Inlet within the Skookumchuck Narrows Provincial Park. Its unique geographical location sees that it's strongly affected by tides. Twice a day, the direction of its flow completely reverses, and the rocky terrain by the shore gives rise to a dazzling, watery spectacle that includes what researchers say are the fastest tidal rapids on the globe. The process is simple to understand, but incredible to observe. When the water rapidly swaps directions, the currents clash and churn out a fury of spinning whirlpools and raging rapids. Every day, more than 200 billion gallons of water is squeezed through the inlet, resulting in the strong rapids. The difference in height from one end to the other of the narrows can reach a whopping 9 feet and the water can roll and the water can roll at blistering speeds of 20 miles per hour. Daring kayakers often challenge the dangerous conditions. <laughs> Mystery Neurological Disease 
Whenever a new disease emerges to afflict humanity, it's always a scary thing. Medical experts in Canada have recently been overwhelmed with patients showing symptoms similar to a known disease called Critchfield Jacob, a rare and fatal condition that attacks the brain until the end. After some bizarre differences of symptoms started emerging, doctors started taking a closer look at the patients, revealing something much more troubling. Even today, researchers have remained stumped at what the mysterious brain disease could be and what and how people can avoid contracting it, if possible. The discovery was years ago with a man named Roger Ellis when he randomly collapsed at his residence and convulsed with seizures on his 40th wedding anniversary. Only in his early 60s, he was reported in good health. Born in New Brunswick, he had worked decades as an industrial mechanic and was finally enjoying his first year of retirement when the tragedy struck. After his neurological breakdown crippled him, his family said he was never the same person thereafter. His health rapidly declined and he started suffering from delusions, hallucinations, extreme weight loss, heightened aggression, and extreme repetition. His son later reported he got so bad he forgot how to walk. In the short time of just three months, he went from healthy to on his deathbed. No one knew why until more cases started turning up, offering scientists more examples to pull from to find a cure for this mysterious disease. For the time being, they have little to go from. Unfortunately, there isn't much they can do until more sick people start turning up and they can study it closer. <laughs> Bloated blue whale. What happens to beached whale carcasses if they're properly disposed of? Well, as this example shows us what happened on the shores of Newfoundland Island, their bodies could explode. Yeah, as this whale corpse decomposed, it filled with gas to the point where it started to fill the body with gases. With no place to escape, the gases just kept on pumping in so long as the decomposing went unhindered. It's methane gas and could pop, releasing either a toxic cloud or catching an unfortunate spark and igniting to the results of a bomb-like detonation. Despite signs being posted about the dangerous site, it was still hard to keep people away due to the rare occurrence to see a massive whale like this so up close. What the signs did not be sure to make clear was no open flames near the whale. That is, unless you want to set off a bomb and take a chunk of the island with it. Whether it explodes or not, the thing has got to reek. Hmm. Mysterious Puzzle Tomb In a cemetery dubbed Rural Rushes, you can mostly find traditional gravestones lining thousands of rows of people that passed. One headstone, however, intensely stands out from the rest. The aptly named Bean Grave is engraved with a mysterious crossword cipher, rather your standard RIP, and loving memory messages. A message below the code urges the reader to meet them in heaven. It took over an incredible 100 years before someone finally cracked the code. This story is a tragic one. Dr. Samuel Bean's first wife, Henrietta, one name etched onto the headstone, passed just seven months after the two were married to disease. His second wife, Susanna, also met her untimely end after only a few months of marital status, whose name also was adorned on the grave. Could this be an accident? Or could the doctor really be a beacon for bad luck? Not a good trait to have in that profession. Dr. Bean buried his two loves in the same grave, side by side, and constructed the coded tombstone atop without revealing to a single soul what it all meant. In the end, he took the secret and his reasoning with him to the grave when he was tragically lost overboard on a ship destined for Cuba. He really was a beacon for tragedy and ill luck. Many people have visited to try and solve the riddle. By the 80s, the etching was nearly ineligible thanks to the many hands that rubbed over it. The one in place today is actually a replica and a groundkeeper was an appointed one to keep it from happening again. The groundskeeper hired during its installation said he cracked the code in the 40s but refused to reveal the secret on the word of the doctor himself. It wasn't until the 70s when a 94-year-old woman would solve the code and reveal to the world what it said and how she accomplished it. Beginning with the seventh character of the seventh row, and if you read in a spiral fashion, the inscription states, In memoriam of Henrietta, first wife of S. Bean, M.D., who died 27th of September, 1865, aged 23 years, 2 months, and 17 days. And Susanna, his second wife, who died on the 27th of April, 1867, aged 26 years, 10 months, and 15 days. Two better wives one man never had. They were gifts from God, but are now in heaven. May God help me, SB, to meet them there. His intention, why, however, went with him to the bottom of the ocean. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. 
the House of Asbestos. The name asbestos in today's society is enough to make most people cringe and health inspectors enraged. The now known cancer-causing material was once called the miracle material, but it now is a bane of human existence. Think how the little town of Asbestos, Canada feels now that its name has been killed and buried. To be fair, the town was named that on account it was the location of the world's largest asbestos mine, which you can imagine didn't go over too well with the people that resided there once the numerous health revelations started showing up in human health. Unfortunately for the town, their livelihoods were set and mining here only ceased this last decade. We're all talking years after the material was already known to be highly hazardous to human health. Even worse, locating in Russia, there still exists huge asbestos mine operations in the town. Thanks to the US EPA working to approve new uses of the hazardous material and consumer products, the few remaining mines still alive will likely be the only place where this material can be mined. While Asbestos Quebec was shut down around 10 years ago, if there's a new money to be made through the new loopholes, you can believe they'll once again operate the mine as it's still jam-packed with usable material. <laughs> Hills on Fire these hills might look like a landscape you might imagine existing on the plains of hell, but these smoldering cliffs can be found in the Canadian Arctic and have long been burning for centuries actually and won't be stopping anytime soon. Located in the Arctic Ocean near Canada's Northwest Territories, you can find these barren, red-lined smoking rocks that are said to be so hot they could burn a hole through solid metal. The hellish landscape was aptly named the Smoking Hills and has captivated scientists for years. Imagine was the first European explorer's thought about the place to wander across this mythical and barren landscape. What kind of ideas do you think populated their archaic minds about the blistering land before them? In the oldest records ever found noting the place, it was referred to as the Land of Hell. The sighting was by the Irish explorer Captain Robert McClure in the early 1800s. The stories tell of a tale where he and his crew journeyed to the now Canadian Arctic in search for the long-lost explorer Sir John Franklin, who had disappeared five years earlier while on his expedition to map and document the Northwest Passage. According to his captain log, McClure went ashore and brought back a piece of the smoldering rock for study. Unfortunately, when he placed it on the deck, it burned a hole through his wooden deck and sunk his ship. Sinister Snake Dens This frightening den of snakes has been referred to as many things throughout its human discovery, wildlife preserve, pit of horror, den of snakes, den of the devil, the list goes on. The implication and theme of each name is obvious, paying mind to the insane and otherworldly number of snakes that gather to mate. The island of Narcisse, every single year, sees tens of thousands of garter snakes arrive to hibernate and eventually merge to mate in one huge writhing ball of serpentine love. Most snakes, being so busy with their work, will pay no mind to the humans approaching the area to study them. For this reason, the imagination evokes more fear than necessary as they're relatively unaware of any other species in the vicinity. Plus, no other animal would dare mess with a ball of snakes this large. Still, it's hard not to be fearful with the thousands of snakes slithering around the area. At one point, the population of snakes approaches 70,000, according to the experts studying the natural event for years. As of late, unprecedented weather patterns and increased roadkill accidents have speedily eroded their population amidst their migration. They head to Narcisse to find a safe place within the natural cracks and burrows found in the porous limestone that makes up the ground here. Then, with the thawing winter, the beasts awaken and get right to mating. They waste no time at all. Spotted Lake This spotted lake, coming out of Canada, looks like it came from an alien cartoon world. The eighth green-hued water and separated by white, web-like strands of sand make it easier to imagine it's indeed an off-world location. The small pools of water get its green coloring from the various dense nutrients present within. The lake often appears like a speckled eggshell in the summer as most of the water has evaporated entirely. After the rainy season, the lake appears like a lake you might expect. It's currently protected as a sensitive area for the Okanagan Silax Nation's people and considered sacred. They still utilize the location to this day for spiritual and therapeutic ceremony. From a distance, the lake appears reminiscent of a piece of stained glass. The color reflects in different hues depending on the different dense sites of minerals present at that time of year. Against the stark white of the sand, the mosaic of colored pools makes for quite a beautiful scene, a piece of art so intricate and unique it could only be created by someone like Mother Nature. From Mother Nature to human cause, there are all sorts of crazy and mysterious things going down in Canada. Good thing we live in a time when people can just reach into their pocket and pull out a video recorder to document the whole thing. 
and then share it with the world in a simple few taps. When you say it like that, sounds pretty amazing, right? As this list demonstrates, there are plenty more mysterious things to be shared and captured. Will you be the next viral video maker? If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our lit content delivered right to your inbox. Mm -hmm.